Okay, here I have a valve body for from a uh, 4R4455E, e. and uh, we're gonna do some modifications here. We're gonna install that shift kit on this valve body here, and I'm just gonna go through uh, some uh, things first. They just added this on the shift kits, and I've seen this before. Uh, this has been done, I mean, for quite some time already. Uh, you drill an exhaust hole uh, on the valve body for the TCC release circuit, so you won't have a lot of pressure buildup uh, causing uh, the TCC stuck off coat. Uh, and then you plug a hole in the spacer plate. And uh, so this is uh, some new steps. Now, uh, they added this little clip here, and you're supposed to uh, make this uh, hole a little bit smaller. And this will uh, actually fix your uh, delayed reverse engagements or a delayed bang in reverse. That's what uh, that's what it is for. And if you guys already been working on this unit, sometimes you would have uh, actually loose reverse. And most of the time is the uh, transmission range sensor. And sometimes it's on the valve body itself. Uh, these are the regular normal uh, instructions that always came with this shift kit and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that to this valve body we're gonna go ahead and do this but this right here I mean on 2006 seminar I have this uh, seminar book kind of coming apart I mean it's uh, from 2006 just to show you that this been uh, going on for a while and we've been doing this uh, modifications on basically every single unit I mean I'm glad they came up there for people that never they didn't assist the seminar and uh, don't know anything about it but see here uh, this is the same circuit that is being drilled if we look at the valve body layout here and then we look at this uh, circuit here that's the same circuit the only difference is the uh, plug in the hole in the in the spacer plate if you see uh, on the instructions, the transgo instructions, you plug in, you plug this hole. You have two little holes. See where it says A, you plug that hole. And here you plug this other hole, which is this one right here. And you see the difference here. But they've both done their own research. You know, uh, this is from uh, ATRA, uh, Automatic Transmission Rebuilders Association. ATRA here. And yes, I do assist to uh, all the seminars when they come here locally, whenever I can. So this uh, modification, uh, we're going to do this modification, but we're going to follow the spacer plate. We're going to plug this hole. I guess uh, they uh, came up with this little wire here to plug the hole. Uh, I guess because this has been going on. I mean, you can use just a regular aluminum plug and plug that up. So here are the parts that, that come in the kit. Here's the little clip. Here is the little wire that we're going to use to plug that hole. This is the, uh, once you get the spacer plate, a hole small. If it's way too small or you close it way too much, then you use this little small drill bit uh, to uh, enlarge it again. We have a pressure relief uh, valve here or a plug. Check ball goes there and then the spring and then the cotter pin. It comes with a new retainer. Uh, this is the regular drill bit that always been in the in the shift kit. We have an aluminum plug here, and then we have our, hop, our uh, hockey puck and a reduced orifice for the servo apply circuit. And this springs here and the that end plug and end cap there. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to follow the directions here. I just wanted to mention that this has been going on for a while. You know this uh, TCC uh, modification, and uh, whether you do it from here or you do it from there, I mean it's always good. But you're gonna you're gonna see it how it's done, and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and plug the hole, and this is the hole that we're gonna plug here. Did you see that? Here, here's the hole that we're gonna plug with this aluminum aluminum little plug. Go ahead and uh, put it on the little hole. Put it upside down, and then uh, just tap it with your hammer. So we've 
ready to plug one hole here. And the other one, we're going to plug it with this, but we're going to do that last, and then we're just going to snip the, the tip. I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. Now we're going to uh, drill, cross drill a hole in this circuit here. We're going to cross drill there. Let me get the sheet right here right quick. And here's the circuit where that little X is at. We're going to cross drill that passage there. And this is the drill bit supplied for that. Sometimes the drill will drill bit will uh, break once you uh, penetrate that partition there. Nothing to be alarmed. There we go. So we already uh, drilled that passage there. Now we are going to uh, drill through the valve body the exhaust port. And we are going in this circuit here. We get a little closer. This right here. That circuit right on here. My drill bit is uh, not sharp enough. There we go. Now we're going to blow the chips off. Not necessary to uh, remove the valve, but I mean, if you feel comfortable doing that, you can remove the valve here, and uh, I mean that way you make sure 100% that you don't have no uh, um, aluminum chips in the valve. Then it's going to cause it for it to stick. Okay, so uh, now we're going to put the uh, white spring here in this location. So I can get this thing out. Clip off, remove the original old spring, and we install the white spring. This is very simple, very simple to do. And yes, it does fix a lot of issues. I like the way it works after you've done all this. I mean, it works very, very good. Okay, now, this is a 3.0. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove this here. The little clicks they get stuck sometimes and it's kind of hard to get off. There we go. Remove that hard clip. Get some pliers here so I can grab that plug. Pull it out. This is the original plug. The one that we are going to install has a little pocket in there because we are going to add a, uh, one spring or two spring depending on the application. And uh, this is a regular V6 3.0. And on V6 we installed the orange, four cylinder red. And on the uh, uh, heavy duty vehicles like the commercial vehicles, 
uh, you know, like little out of zone pickup trucks or whatever. Uh, then you install uh, orange and yellow spring together. So we are doing the orange spring alone. Put the orange spring in the pocket, put the new plug, and reinstall the R clip. Okay. Now the assembly of this uh, pressure relief valve, you put the check ball in there, and then you put the spring, then you use the paper clip to push down on the spring so you can get the uh, cotter pin through. Once you get the cotter pin through, then you get your paper clip out of the way and bend the tabs. Sometimes it's a little hard to bend these little tabs, but there you go. You bend the tips. Okay, the pressure relief valve goes in this position. And we do the same thing here. Yeah, the magnet's not picking it up, they get stuck a little bit. Now we get the R clip out of the way, and this one comes with the new one. Well, let's get the uh, plug out. Get our pliers. That's the old plug. Reinstall the valve. Sometimes it will just pop out. And we put our new uh, retainer here. So there we go. Now we install this in the position. It's going to be right at the band here. i show you here on this uh, instruction sheet. Here you have the check ball and you install it on the upper passage. Here's where the check ball should go and this is where you install it. Okay, so uh, that's about covers everything. This one goes in the case, and this hockey, hockey puck goes here. And we already have that uh, plugged up. Now let's go ahead and uh, install everything else here. Okay, well to make this uh, hole small, smaller, you use two check balls, one on the uh, one on the top and one at the bottom. It's not as easy as it looks. I mean, check balls, they want to run all over the place. But here's the drill bit, and I managed to get it right at the size of the drill bit. So this is what you want to accomplish, and uh, this is a must-do. That's what it says here in the instructions. You must make this hole uh, 46,000 to 52,000. Original size is 67 to 71. It's too big. All right, well, they supply that little uh, drill bit for it. There we have it. Okay, now we, we can go ahead and finish this valve body. We're gonna get our new ATC screen. And we install it here at this location. We get uh, four new check balls. One, two, three and four check balls. Now our uh, pressure relief valves, one here and one here. So we got our check balls, pressure relief valves, our uh, ETC screen, and this little uh, thing that comes in the kit. We'll go ahead and set it here in this position. Let's put our uh, valve body gasket on it. Pass it through there. I got two uh, alignment pins here that, I mean, it just helps me align the plate. And remember, we are plugging the bottom hole, align the hole to the plate. Here we go. 
it's about the same size as the as the hole. So it's a little bit gonna push in a little bit carefully. There we go. We're all the way down. It's like I said, you can use whatever wire there. I mean, uh, mechanics wire or bailing wire. I've done that before. That's what I've been doing uh, to plug that hole. Whatever makes it easier for you. But they supply this, so uh, this is what we're going to use. cutters and just uh, snip the wrist put some uh, assembly lube to hold the other gasket in place get our the other gasket There we go. We have just uh, done the modifications to fix uh, the torque converter uh, stuck on or stuck off code. Actually installed the whole shift kit in this uh, valve body here. As you see here, this is our new hole. This is our new exhaust hole that we drilled. We. Uh, Plug this hole with the uh, little rod supplied. With the little plug, we plug this hole and then we cross drill the passage that was here. And that's about it. That's about it for this unit. Alright, guys, well, you know what to do. Uh, click like, subscribe, share with everybody, and. Uh, this is the installation of a shift kit on the valve body. This is going to go on the case on the intermediate servo. So there we have it.